Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Supreme Dragon probably brings to you Duelist Alliance Sneak Peek. Don't forget, like, subscribe buttons down below. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook. I will uh, be sharing that on there as well. And so today was Duelist Alliance Sneak Peek Day. Um, promo card is uh, Dragon Horn Hunter. So, level 6, Dark Warrior Pendulum Monster. The uh, reason I have two play sets was I traded for most of them. And that because I want a play set of them and ultras. So, that's why I got those. And now, for actually, for what I pulled, and including uh, today, so the only card, only hollow I pulled was the promo card, Dragon Horn Hunter. And it actually came in. Uh, pretty well today. Uh, helped me win one. So, other common cards throughout the set. Uh, not really going to name off too much except some of the ones that I really think are uh, worth noting. Like, uh, there's another uh, Perform Pal. It's a Pendulum Monster. Uh, Hippo Carnival uh, is tokens. And now for my actual deck that uh, I took first place with today. I went 3-0. and Won the uh, sneak peek mat, which I'll give a full view of here in just a minute. But my extra deck consisted of three Pilgrim Reapers, even though I can only go into one, thanks to Dragon Hunter. Uh, this actually won me uh, round one. Uh, it was game two. We were both kind of deadlocked with defense positions. I was able to go into Pilgrim Reaper. Have him mill his last 10 cards and one via a deck out. Uh, this was my other stalling. Uh, level 9 Synchro Cloud Castle. Prevents all level 8 or lower monsters from attacking to turn their normal or special summon. So that was really good. Uh, the new artifact cards, not that great. Uh, believe it or not, the super, heav uh, super heavy samurais are actually kind of cool. Uh, blue brawler here. Uh, played a big role today. Sitting there at 2,000 defense, can't be destroyed by battle. So that was really nice. Uh, recovered, put in a little work today. Uh, this guy, Dogu, was my 1,900 beater, and I just kind of summoned it and just started running over things with it. Uh, Perform Pile Whip Snakes, uh, pretty got a decent effect. You can... Uh, target a face-up monster on the field, switch its attack and defense, so it's got the sword and shield card effect. If there's a card you kind of need to get over, this will help with it. Uh, yeah, uh, Uranus definitely put in some good, big work today as well. Won me a couple of games. Uh, let's see here. Oh, here we go. The light version of Dark Arm Dragon, Metaphized Arm Dragon. I only brought this guy out once, but you know it's a 2800 beater, so it's kind of hard to get over that. And now for the main cards that put in the most work, uh, Sonata, the Melodious Diva. When she, if you control a Melodious Diva currently on the field, you can special summon her from your hand, and then all Melodious monsters gain 500 attack and defense. Well, excuse me, all fairy monsters gain 500 attack and defense. So, this is a really actually an interesting archetype that I'm considering looking into building once I have all the other cards to go with it, that is, from the from this set. And uh, Arya, the Melodious Diva, she did a little work today. I mean, on uh, one hand, I started off with her and two Sonatas in hand, so that's 22, 22, 26 right off the bat. So that was really uh, good to have. And if you happen to do special summon her, uh, Melodious Monsters you control cannot be targeted by card effects or destroyed by battle. So that's really good. And finally, the cards that put in the most work today that won me uh, pretty much every game was the Monarch Storm Forth. And what this let me do was tribute my opponent's monster on uh, my turn. So I could tribute off, uh, if they had a defense or a really strong monster, I could tribute them off for Uranus or uh, the Artifacts. So that was really good. And the other card that did a lot work today, Chain Dispel. Hold on to these cards from your boxes, packs, whatever. Uh, this right here 
will completely shut down quill offs and any other decks that solely rely on spells and traps. What it says is when a spell or trap card is activated, destroy all cards in the controller's deck with the same name as the activated card. So yes, they're going to get that one card off one time, but you're going to force them to send every copy of the other card to that grave. So this will really wreck and hurt a lot of decks. So hold on to your chain to spells. Now, these are the cards that I ended up trading for today. I got one Shadal Fusion spell card, one Panzer Dragon, one Shadal Beast, two Shadal Lizards, three Shadal Hedgehogs, two Falcons, and for the Burning Abyss, I've got one of their trap card, Traveler and the Burning Abyss, uh, two Sirs, uh, and one Graf. So yeah, that's what all I got today, and now let me show y'all the mat in its full entirety, so y'all can see what it looks like. There it is, with uh, odd eyes on it, Duelist Alliance sneak peek, our pendulum zones on the left and right. So yeah, uh, don't forget, like, subscribe buttons are down below, check this out on Facebook. And this is Supreme Dragon, signing out.